What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and today is a great day. I don't know why, but today seems like it's gonna be a great day. We've got a package that I've been waiting on for quite some time, and when I tell you guys that this is a special box, please believe me. We are gonna go ahead and dub this the Nutshell Box. And the reason that I'm calling it that is because this is basically my 2021 in a nutshell. And what what I mean by that is that the contents in this package pretty much encapsulate my entire year as a collector. Now granted the year isn't over and there are still big scores on the horizon as well as just normal everyday scores, but 2021 has been very, very kind to me and the House of Masks. This box is almost just like a summary of what's been going on. So needless to say there are some very, very special pieces in this box and it also goes without saying that this is definitely going to be a multi-video unboxing series. So we're going to take one item out of this package today and then so on and so forth until the package is completely empty. Now the fun part about this is that there isn't just pieces in here for me. There's definitely a gift in here for one of our good friends, which I will hopefully have the chance to shoot a video on later. Just depends on the next time that I see him. Now that I've got you guys all hyped up, let's go ahead and hop on into it. It is a very, very large package. That's what she said. Oh God, it's very very heavy. So uh, that just gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're dealing with here. So obviously I backed the camera up a little bit just to try to give you guys a better idea of what we're doing here. But uh, basically I'm going to go ahead and dig on into the package which has been partially destroyed by customs. So thank you very, very much for that. And hopefully nothing in here got damaged because of that. Because that sure would suck. All right, she is open much like your mother. So this package comes to us from our good friend, Matthew Donnelly. Now, some of you guys probably have no idea who that is, but a lot of core collectors that have been in the hobby for more than a few years probably know who that is. And Matthew Donnelly is just the nicest guy on planet Earth. A really, really great dude. He is an ex-collector. He definitely used to be one of the best collectors in the hobby. He had an absolutely amazing collection, but sadly, he got out of the hobby a few years ago. Ugh. Oh God. Sadly, he got out of the hobby a few years back and he just had some random pieces that he had decided to keep. Maybe they were just too special to him or he wasn't getting the right prices out of them. And basically what we have here is the remainder of his collection. Me and Matthew have been going back and forth for the better part of probably two years now. And I was originally buying pieces from him piece by piece. And I initially pretty much bought out the collection that he had for sale. These are the items that we never got around to for the reasons that I gave you just a second ago. We were finally able to strike up a deal for these other pieces he decided he didn't want them just laying around anymore not serving any purpose and he also said that he just kind of wanted to thank me and the other person that is involved so I'm really not even sure what the deal is with this stuff anymore but uh, I've partially paid for it and I do plan on paying the rest but Donnelly went ahead and sent it over anyway so without further ado let's take out the first piece I know what the first piece is that I want to take out and that's just because I can't help myself I am giddy with excitement and it might be a little underwhelming to some of you but but to others, it is going to be as amazing as it is to me. So without further ado, I'm gonna open her up and really try not to see anything aside from what I want to see. And what I want to see is right here in the center. So I'm gonna do my best to pull that out right now. And what we have here is, of course, an original 133 Craig Jones number five self-titled setup. We have got an original black MBU complete with black nose cup, extremely rare. We have got an original youth space helmet converted to perfection, which I will explain here in just a second. And then somewhere in the box, we've got the proper nail. So let me dig those out and we will get those added as well. All right, got him. Nailed it. All right, so there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and close this over. I don't want to see anything else that's in there for right now. I want to focus on this 133. So one of my all time favorite pieces ever, 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 the Craig Jones self-titled helmet setup. It's just one of the coolest things. If you guys have ever seen me talk about these before, you will know exactly what I am going to say because my opinion never changes and I never get sick of having these. This will make like my fifth completed helmet in my collection right now, let alone the amount that I've owned before. And it is just like the epitome of an original Slipknot mask. It's a weird combination of things 
that probably shouldn't make sense that weren't meant to be scary but somehow ended up being some of the coolest imagery on planet Earth. We have a literal children's space helmet that was originally white, then painted black with holes drilled through it for nails. We also have attached an old weird gas mask that was used for a plethora of things, everything from firefighters to pilots. And it just ended up creating this really fucking cool thing, which obviously you guys aren't seeing right now because I haven't put the nails through, but another really, really rad thing about these helmets is literally every single part of these is rare. The MBU gas mask, extremely rare, especially in black and especially, especially with the proper nose cup. Usually these things don't have nose cups in them. Half of my Craig's and there don't have nose cups because they're just so hard to find. The space helmet, extremely rare. Again, why? I don't know, but they're just really hard to find. And I know what you're thinking. What about those nails over there? Those are just gutter spikes. And you would be incorrect because right down to the nails themselves, we have more rare pieces. These are an extremely specific gutter spike. You will most likely not find them in the States, especially not in stores right now. The ones that you guys see are a little too girthy and a little too long. That's what she said. <laughs> Now, there's only one country that I know of that you can get these from, and you have to buy them in bulk, so they always end up being extremely expensive. Between the cost of these very specific nails and the shipping price, because they are heavy as shit, and the fact that you have to find them, it's just not worth it to most collectors. Usually, these collectors will go buy the 7-inch galvanized spike from their local hardware store, and they just think that that's good enough. But the difference that the proper nails can make in these things is amazing. So, I'm going to go ahead and add these nails to the Craig helmet itself, and when we come back and show it all finished, I will talk a little bit about the conversion because that is special as well. BRB. One hour later. All right, we are done, done, done finally putting these nails back in. That process never gets any quicker. It is quite the tedious task, but what we have now is a fully finished, fully converted, all original Craig Jones 133 self-titled helmet, and I am stoked. Now, let me tell you what sets this helmet apart from the other copies in my collection. The reason that this one is a little more special than the others is because this is a Rooney converted copy. Now, for those of you that don't know, Aaron Rooney was a mass converter way, way, way back in the day. I'm talking 2009 to 2012-ish, and he was amazing. Just leaps and bounds above the rest of the people that were doing conversions in the hobby. There was something very, very special about Rooney's authenticity. Every single piece he touched turned to gold. However, Rooney turned into not such a good dude, and and ended up leaving the hobby on very, very bad terms after having quite a few issues with quite a few people and it's just an unfortunate thing as to what happened. However, his work still holds up today. I really, really like his work. It's a shame that he's a bad person. So to have a fully finished Rooney converted copy here is absolutely fantastic and I am very, very happy with it. So long story short, just to summarize what we've been talking about here, everything from this package coming from a really good old friend of mine, someone who wanted to just kind of think thank me for doing what I've done for the hobby, and those are his words, not my own, to the fact that this was converted by one of my all-time, long-time favorite artists. And I do just want to make it clear again that Rooney is a bad person. Good artwork, bad dude. Right down to the fact that this is an all original piece. Everything from the youth helmet to the MBU and the nose cup to the nails and we even have a original hose. I actually saw this sticking out as I was moving the package earlier so yeah everything about this is fantastic and this is just the beginning of the nutshell box. So as always I will leave you guys with some nice up close shots of this piece to let you see all of the detail. We will add it to the collection and show it off there as well and that will end this video. So of course I would like to give a massive 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 thank you to Matthew Donnelly for hooking me up with this piece and whatever else is in that package. I am super, super excited to keep taking a look at that, so the next couple of videos will probably include the rest of the nutshell package. And I would also like to thank you guys for continuing to watch my content. Thank you very, very much. It has been a fantastic year, and I don't want to jinx anything, so fingers crossed, but the way that we've been going the last couple years, it just keeps getting better. Hopefully, I'll be saying this same exact thing in 2022. Now, with all of that being said, we are going to go ahead and end this one. Thank you guys again for watching. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed it. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to friendship. And we will see you guys in the next one.